In this video, you will learn about one of the most important topic date time function in pandas. Let's import from date time import date time. Now to get the current date time, we can use the function now. I'll make one variable t1 and then I will call this date time. From this, I will call the function now and let us execute our code. And if I print t1, you will see in the output. So today's date at the time of making this video is 16th of July 2022. And this is the timing 13 1 and this is uh, hours, minute, seconds and this is millisecond. Now I'll make one more variable. Let's say t2 and now to define a date or uh, so we can use this function date time and then we will write uh, let's say year is 2000 and month is 1 and date is also 1 now if i print t2 so here in the output you will see we got date time dot date time and this is the year month date and this is then hours and second now we can also subtract these t1 and t2 and then we can see the difference and let me make one variable difference dif and then i'm going to subtract t1 from this t2 and let us print difference here in the output you can see it says that there are in days 8232 days seconds this is the seconds and this is microseconds we can also check its type type of difference i will write type of difference and here in the output you will see it says date time dot time delta now let us import one csv file so we can perform some other operations i'll import pandas as pd import pandas as pd i'm going to make one variable df then i'll read pd dot read underscore csv and then i will type my csv file name which is employee dot csv let us print head df dot head and here in the output you will see we have variables like weekend indicator high industry and value weekend is a date or date time variable and let us also check the data type i will write df dot d types and here in the output we will get the data types it says weekend is object and then indicator high industry they are also object and value is float 64 but weekend is actually date time so we need to convert this weekend into a proper format which is the date time format so what i will do i'll make one new variable instead of modifying this existing variable i'll create a new variable and let's say the value uh, the name of that new variable is going to be date underscore dt and we are going to call this function from pandas to underscore date time we will use this function to create a date time variable and then inside this we will pass the variable name from which we want to create this new field and we will use this field weekend so i will write here df of weekend uh, so this is weekend and then i'll execute the code and if i write df dot head here in the output you will see we got a new variable date underscore dt and here you will see the format is a little different here here we have first the date month and year and here we have year then uh, month and then date now one thing you will notice that the data type of these two variables will be different this is going to be object and this is going to be date time let us check the data type I will write here df dot d types and here in the output you can see now the new variable that we have created is actually a date time object so to convert or to create any variable as a date time object we need to use this function uh, to pd dot to underscore date time and this will help us to convert it into a date time object there are different methods available using which we can extract the year month and day from a date time object now let me make one uh, variable d and i'll call this pd to date time and let us uh, take one random date 
2022 um, 07 and then 15 and if I print this we have this timestamp and this is the date and the time uh, so this is year month and the date now from this object D we want to extract year month and date and for that we have different methods which we can use let's say to extract date or to extract year we will write d dot year and year is 2022 to extract month we will write d dot month month is 7th which is july and then day d dot day day this is 15th 15th of july using this uh, functions or this uh, method you can get your year month and date and we can perform this operation on the data frame as well let me print df dot head now here in this data frame this weekend is an object so we won't be able to do these operations on this variable but date underscore dt is a date time object we can apply all these above method on this variable now first let us create year i will write df dot year this is going to be a new variable and we will create this year using this variable date underscore dt and to create year we have to call dt dot month uh, sorry year because we are calculating year here now if i write df dot head we have this new variable which is year and in that you can see we are getting 2019 because uh, here you will see date underscore dt the years are 2019 that's why we are getting 2019 then we can also get month i'll copy this code from here i'll paste it here now instead of year i'll make a new variable which is month and then instead of year i will write here month now let us print head df of head and here in the output you will see we got a new variable which is month and month is extracted from this variable date underscore dt here you can see the month is 05 then 12 05 05 and 02 and we can similarly calculate or extract d i'll copy this code from here then i'll paste it here now instead of month i will write here day and here also instead of month i will write here day now if i print df dot head here in the output you can see we got a new column and this new column has date so from this variable you can see 5 5 19 26 and 06 you can apply all this method on this variable on any date variable and ex you can extract date year month day you can even also extract quarter i'll copy this code from here and then i'll paste it here i'll make a new variable quarter and then here instead of day i will call quarter and if i do df dot head it says that uh, here we got a new column quarter and it says that this month 05 is in the quarter 2 12 is in the quarter 4 5th 2 and then 2 is 1 there are four quarters that's why we got here different quarter 2 4 1 this is how you can use this function date time on your variable which is of date time and then you can perform any operations or you can convert any object variable to a date time and then you can extract date month year date uh, quarter and so on i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching